Hey guys, it's Cut Light Smoke back again for Stoga Clock. Uh, today we don't have a cigar review, but we do have an accessory review for you. Uh, this is the Colibri Daytona Lighter. Now, Colibri was generous enough to send this in as well as one of their cutters, which I'll also be reviewing. Uh, but for this Daytona Lighter, uh, just I've been using this thing for a while now, so I've had a lot of experience with it, lit, lit a lot of cigars with this thing. Uh, it is a single flame butane lighter kind of designed uh, with the theme of auto racing. And so, hence the Daytona name. But uh, anyways, so if you look on the side here with this thing, it actually has, this is one of my favorite things about this lighter, it has a blue reflective coloring behind the fuel tank. So you can always see how much fuel you have. It's gonna be really hard to see it on this video, I think. Um, and this thing's pretty much full at this point because I did fill it here the other day. Um, it has a giant fuel tank, more so than pretty much any of the other lighters that they offer. Uh, but again, it is a single flame butane lighter. Uh, it offers a basically kind of a safety cover, I guess, over top of your flame there so that when you don't have it ignited, nothing's going to get in there, which is kind of nice. But you squeeze the side here and then you have a single flame, which you guys probably will not be able to see. But let's see if we can do it. It's been very, very reliable, which is a really important thing for lighters, obviously. Um, anyways, it's just a really sharp looking one. They have a lot of really cool off, off the wall colors with this thing, like a lime green, yellow, orange. This one's kind of more neutral. Uh, it's the gunmetal. So it retails for $59, which is actually a very, very good price for a lighter like this. I'm sure you can probably get it cheaper on certain websites, uh, but I always support your local guys. Um, pay retail price if you can. Um, I'm all about, you know, if you got to pay a little bit more to support your brick and mortar, you might as well, uh, because if they're gone, then you're going to not have anybody locally. But anyways, back to this lighter review. You squeeze the side, you get your single flame, it works every time, it's very consistent. You also have an adjustment knob here on the bottom, so you can go all the way up or all the way down. Here, let's see what, full blast. It's pretty big. It's a pretty big single flame. That, that shoots up, I can see the blue about inch and a half, two inches. I don't know if you guys can see that there. Um, and then you turn it all the way down. Sometimes lighters don't work if you do that, but yeah, it won't work if it's all the way down on this one. You gotta turn it, I'd say about halfway before you'll get it to go. Um, I do use the Zycar uh, high altitude butane that they put out. I can't remember the, I think that's the name of it. But anyways, they're, they're real premium butane. Uh, it's meant for people at high altitudes. This was actually tested at 12,000 feet. So this should work at a high altitude. I'm in Indiana, so we are not that high up. Uh, but anyways, at the bottom here, that's where you fill it at the center of your adjustment knob with your Butane. But anyways, it's just a really sharp, classy looking lighter. And the biggest thing for me with lighters, functionality and reliability. It functions well, as it doesn't go. I have it turned down quite a bit, so. <laughs> I keep my lighters pretty open though. But it functions every time you need it to. It works very well, it's consistent, it doesn't sputter out. Now part of that is using good butane. Do not put, don't ever put crappy butane in a lighter, uh, for especially for cigars, because what you'll have, you'll have a lot of imperfections in that butane, you'll basically get it all gummed up and there'll be a lot of junk in your lighter, which can disable it and cause it to be very unreliable. A lot of people, you know, blame the manufacturer of the lighter for that, but oftentimes it's the butane. So, <laughs> also you need to bleed your lighters when you fill them. That's another big thing, especially if you ever get a brand new lighter, all you gotta do, Take uh, the, the Zycar scissors have the tool on it. Uh, I have those, but you can also use anything else that's small enough to fit in that hole. Basically depress down that valve right there, let all the air out. So you wanna bleed all the air out because the air does not help you with your butane um, and with your lighting. So you wanna make sure that that's bled out before you fill it again every time. So I don't always do it, I try to, but it's definitely recommended because it will make your lighter last longer and more effectively. So, uh, but functionality wise, I really like this thing because you can see the fuel window on this. And uh, anyways, like I said, it's kind of hard to see today because I believe it is all the way full. Um, but you can see the, the, the fuel on this really easily. That's one really big thing that I like. It has a huge fuel capacity. It lasts quite a while. I've only had to fill this, I mean, sparingly. I haven't really kept track of how many cigars I've lit, lit uh, but it, it's, uh, it, it lasts a while. So you can, you can light quite a few with this thing. And it's just been a good lighter. It's nice and slim. It looks cool. Uh, I mean, it's on the, it's along the lines of 
some of the DuPont designs I've seen out there, but that's okay. Um, but it's just a cool lighter, and for $59 retail price, not a bad price point either, and I definitely recommend getting this. Uh, as far as Calibri is concerned, I've had pretty good luck with most of the stuff I've had from them. I have had a few things that haven't worked very well, uh, just like many other companies out there, but it's, for the most part, Calibri's been a really good, reliable brand for me. Uh, so anyways, if you guys like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, check out iRobusto.com for more pictures of this, and lots of other reviews and photos and until next time you guys like my video well you guys keep it smoky i already told you to like my video if you haven't done that already do it again <laughs> um anyways guys be well we'll see you take care